Hello everyone, Dr. Victoria Skirbo here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. So we are, it is that time of the month again to do tarot scopes and we're going to be doing the tarot scopes for the earth signs today and uh, we're going to start with the sign of Taurus. <laughs> so uh, let's take a look at what's going on astrologically. Um, first and then we'll get into the card reading okay so what is going on astrologically well uh october promises to be uh, a a real a real month of change and change in uh change because uh a lot of things are changing direction and uh, we have four planets changing directions this month which is kind of unusual um but the fact that they're all going direct is even more unusual. And so things that have felt like uh, they have been uh, held back or you haven't been able to take steps forward, that is going to change in October. Uh, we have a, a new moon in the sign of Libra. And for you, um, for my Taurus folk, um, this new moon occurs in your... Um, in your sixth house. Your sixth house is the house of your work, your everyday sort of mundane tasks. It is also the house of pets and it's the house of health. So for you, this is a great time to start a new health regime. Uh, that new moon in Libra is, um, is conjunct Mars and it is con in conjunct Uranus. So there can be some unexpected things coming up for you that will, uh, you will need to make adjustments for, you will need to make adjustments for, but this is a good time to start a new health regime because that new moon has a lot of power in it. It also on the day of that new moon is the same day that Pluto turns direct. Now that's always a big deal. Uh, it's always a big energy shift. In fact, uh, at the beginning of the month before the six, it's going to feel like you're under a lot of pressure. It's not just you, it's all of us. Um, as uh, Pluto uh, sort of starts to turn its gaze forward. Now, of course, planets don't really ever move retrograde. It's just from our viewpoint on planet Earth that things are moving backwards in the sky. It is really an illusion, but it is an opportunity for us to really sort of go over whatever themes those planets um, are associated with. And Pluto is associated with the theme of transformation. And of course, Pluto has been in Capricorn since 2008. So for the um, Pluto has been, yes, I said that Pluto has been in Capricorn since 2008. And so for um, the Tauruses out there, it has been sitting in your house of uh, your philosophy of life and your beliefs. Um, so you have been going through a process of having your beliefs challenged. Um, and what have you held on to and what have you released? Okay. So that's important. We have a full moon in the sign of Aries. This activates your, your, um, ninth and third house axis. That is the axis of your mind, there's an illumination. Uh, oh, new moons are always about awareness. They always sort of bring something up for us to evaluate. And so it's, it, you need to evaluate what you're thinking and what you're believing. Of course, for all of us, we're going through that process because the North node of the moon is in Gemini and the South node of the moon is in Sagittarius. So we've really been sort of looking at the facts on the ground and uh, evaluating our beliefs um, and that has, of course, been a challenge. Now, in um, this is kind of looking ahead for past October, but to mention it, um, in January of 2022, the nodes of the moon are going to shift signs, and the north node of the moon is going to be going in your sign, Taurus. And so everybody will be focusing on what is essential in their lives. So you, that's your, that's pretty much your focus your whole life. So in a way, Tauruses may be leading the way on that one. Okay. So what else is going on? We have Saturn, which is an Aquarius. Um, that is your 10th house. Um, 
that's your 10th house so you're looking at that moving forward so um, public recognition can finally move forward for you your career you might start to finally move forward and feel like uh, you're actually accomplishing something in that in that realm um, we have on the 18th we have Jupiter and Mercury both going direct Jupiter of course is in Aquarius which again is that 10th house and um, Mercury is in Libra which is that um, which is the eighth house I mean sorry the sixth house so uh, moving forward in in issues of health and also because we're dealing with the sixth house and the tenth house uh, money issues um, that you may have had will start to things will improve I think in that in that way for you um, what else Mars is going to Mars is in Libra so it's in that sixth house Mars in the sixth house can create inflammation uh, so you do need to be very careful of that um, Libra is uh, so when you're a Taurus Libra is your um, your sixth house and so Libra deals with balance and so you have to make sure that you're eating a balanced diet um, and then those organs uh, like kidneys and such uh, can have issues irritation so if you uh, have some sort of UTI or if you you have a little back pain uh, you may want to watch uh, for kidney issues kidney stones perhaps uh, kidney infections um, or just generalized being pissed off so <laughs> you have to work with that uh, and make sure that you're nurturing your body uh, your kidneys and uh, the functions of your body uh, because we're really up for quite a journey um, as we approach um, November and then December and then 2022 so you need to make sure you're strong enough uh, and so you need to take care of your, your physical body uh -oh. I just had a little bird fly in so let me let me go I just had a little titmouse come into the office <laughs> I had the window open and I had to save him and he he bit, he bit me <laughs> a little bird he's got quite the bite of course I have a parrot so I know that birds bite you don't want to put your fingers near my parrot though let me tell you all right back to back to Taurus why not we're doing Taurus why wouldn't like something from outside come in and you know have, have something to say Taurus is the sign of nature so all right maybe that's a that's a message be careful uh where you fly into um and and accept help even if though you want to bite them because they're here to help you okay doors um let's see mercury does go direct on um oh wait a minute oh hold on that's retrograde i'm, I'm looking at the wrong month i got all i got all turned around I got it all turned around. All right. So that's that's what's going on. That's what's going on astrologically. Let's take a look at um, what, uh, let's look at some cards. So um, I'm going to be doing a card reading using the Illuminated Earth Oracle. So it, it is not a tarot card. It's not tarot, uh, but it's an Oracle deck that is easily read <laughs> and is very um very much um in a line with the Taurus energy remember Taurus Uranus is in Taurus now and so there's a great awakening occurring and Uranus uh has been uh around the middle degree of Taurus for a long time it's actually I think it has actually moved uh, moved on and it is now I, I believe it's the only plant it's the only um, it's the only one going retrograde now is Uranus which requires us to rethink our revolutions as it were um, but we do have Uranus and Taurus so I think the illuminated earth oracle is the best cards to, to look at the month ahead for Taurus so just want to get a couple of shuffles in here I like to do at least three shuffles sometimes more if three don't doesn't feel enough but I think 
I think three feels enough and we will see what is up for Taurus. Okay, we have the retreat card, the retreat. So there is this sense of uh, moving back, moving into a safe place, retreating back. Um, and I don't think that that's necessarily a negative thing. Um, you know, Taurus, uh, Uranus has been in Taurus now for, um, I think since 2017, I can't remember if it went in 17 or 18. Um, but it's been very disruptive for Taurus and Tauruses have made some pretty big strides, not a sign generally known for its ability to change. And so with Uranus there, you're either going to, you're either going to make the change or the change is going to be made for you. Um, so I think that Taurus knows that at this point because, um, Uranus is at the middle degree of Taurus. So it's only halfway through. We have another, you know, another ways to go with Uranus and Taurus. What is challenging this is this uh, card about separate. Um, this is the immovable object, right? This is the, the stone, this is the boulder in the way. I mean, how do you move, uh, the flow? So Taurus, you might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed because of the Iranian energy that's happening and you would perhaps like to stay stuck. Um, so let's see what's underneath. So the challenge for you is, uh, Retreat is not necessarily a negative thing unless retreat is something that keeps you stuck um, and in a way that doesn't allow you to feel your feelings and move forward. Feeling your feelings. That's what the river is here. The river is the flow of feelings. We can see there's a little like chunk that's come off, a little chip off the old block. So things are moving for Taurus, but Taurus is the most fixed of the fixed elements. So, uh, it's the most fixed of the fixed signs because it's in the most fixed element. Dirt is much more fixed than water, much more fixed than air and much more fixed than, than fire. So this is a big deal. This is a big deal. <laughs> At the root, uh, we have the disguise card, the disguise. It's interesting. This guy is disguised as a bear <laughs> eating a salmon. <laughs> Um, Taurus, you know, Taurus is a bear energy, really. I know it's a bull, it's big. And when you rouse it, um, it gets angry. Same thing with a bear, right? <laughs> when you rouse it, it gets angry. So there is this sort of feeling of <sighs> disguise, of hiding. There's this, this energy of hiding. Let's see what else comes up for this. Let's see what's in the past reflection reflection so you've done a lot of inner work um you've been very reflexive uh, reflective not reflexive <laughs> that's something different in the sky we have potential potential there's a lot of potential in taurus right potential for growth potential for new beginnings but just it's potential and the thing is is what are you going to do with that potential potential is simply energy that's stored right waiting to be utilized and so what is that about remember um what there was something that i said in the beginning oh the new moon um has a con we have the new moon conjunct um mars that's a lot of potential and the full moon the sun of the full moon is actually conjunct mars as well uh while the moon is conjunct eris so that is a um, a lot of potential, a lot of potential. Let's see what's in the immediate future. Erosion. So this says to me that, um, the thing that creates erosion, I mean, I guess we could have wind erosion, but well, I guess we could have wind. We could have wind and we could have water erosion, right? Those are the two things that would create erosion wind is new ideas blowing through water is is feelings um 
that erode away and in the process shows the layers shows the layers so these cards are reflecting an energy of Taurus that is slow and steady and yet changing even with Uranus and Taurus the Taurus in itself is going through a process of change how it's seen from the outside renewal so new beginnings for Taurus the domestic situation destruction yeah so if you are hiding at home Taurus um, because you don't want to change there's a chance that your home will undergo a large shift that will force you to change so be aware of that let's see um, hopes and fears fertility the most fertile one of the most fertile signs in the zodiac anyway uh, you're definitely there's always chance for fertility okay and then we have the outcome as epiphany epiphany so there's a realization that comes along there is a realization here that change must happen um, change of some kind it can be gradual change um, if you ch do if you choose not to change at all and you choose to sort of I think um, turn your back on change that's when you have problems that's when the destruction comes otherwise I don't think it has to it has to come underneath we have connection the connection to all things you know even Taurus is connected to the change as it were patience so to have patience here which of course Taurus has has as pounds of patience and uh, being frozen so this is called um, concealment um, there is a world that I don't even know if you've imagined yet that is available if we choose not to be frozen in fear so know that while change is, is challenging and change has been thrust upon you in ways that you haven't seen in 84 years or so <laughs> Uranus you know takes 84 years to grow in the zodiac so it hasn't been in this place in 84 years um, that um, there is something that is beautiful and 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 not to be, not to fear with change and I think you'll I think you understand that I think by the end of the month you're gonna you're gonna go oh okay I see I change, change. you know it's interesting um, my father-in-law is a Taurus uh, Carl Carl Hines a wonderful wonderful man always there reliable if you if you're stuck anywhere you call you call dad and dad comes and gets you <laughs> even though <laughs> His driving is, I hope he doesn't watch this, his driving is a little suspect. But he'll get there and he'll get you home. Uh, very, very reliable guy. And even he has gone through some pretty big changes over the last few few years as Uranus has been in Taurus. And it's a beautiful thing to see and um, an exciting thing for him. So um, you guys can do it, you know, even if you happen to be a German Taurus, <laughs> which is quite you know Germans are generally quite sure of who they are in my experience so anyway all right guys have yourself a great month like subscribe if this is something that you have a Taurus in your life that you might want them to see please share it with them otherwise I will see you again next month for the uh, Tarascope of November 2021 take care everyone much love namaste